this one. We kind of saw what we saw last week, too. I know you don't want to fall into that hole to down a couple of goals, but this team fought again in the third period. What did you like about the third? Yeah, I, I just love how resilient we were. Um, you know, like you said, it's, uh, the preseason game as well. Um, you know, I, I think that's going to be something that's crucial to learn this season, and it's good to know that, you know, both games that, that we have it in us to come back, no matter what the score is in the third, um, now the key is just not letting the score get to that going into the third period and, and obviously closing it out when we get a chance and, and tie it up. But um, resilient group. I, I thought every line played well. It's just, you know, unfortunate to not get at least a point out of that one. Uh, it seems like you guys are quickly building some chemistry there with uh, with Ryan Carpenter and, and Pavel Rogendo. What happened on that play to your goal that led to your goal? The way you guys, I mean, just kept in the fight, kept that puck inside the zone and eventually resulted in you on the back door. Yeah. Um, credit to, to both of my line mates for, you know, they're, they're both really hard workers, kind of blue collar players with a lot of skill. So um, both of them win the majority of their battles. And uh, I saw Reggie, you know, win that puck up top and keep it in the zone. And, and once he gave it to Carps, um, I, I was just going to crash the net. And because I know if I'm open, Carps will find me. He's a, he's a heck of a passer. So uh, he put it right on a platter for me. <coughs> that second period. They get chances, two of them, within five minutes, block shot, guy stepping out of the box. Do you ever see anything like that twice in, in one period, really, just minutes away from each other, just the the, bat, the luck just wasn't on your side that second? Yeah. Uh, no, I've never seen anything like that. And hopefully we don't see it ever again unless it's, you know, going our way. But um, I, I don't know. I mean, you, you want to say maybe puck management, but it's just both of them were crazy bounces. Um, and I, I think it, it started before that, though. They were building momentum early in the second, and uh, we, just, we just needed to weather it a little bit better and get back to our game. Uh, you get a chance to get right back at it tomorrow, though. What do you take from this one that you want to adjust and come out maybe even stronger in, in, through the full 60 tomorrow? Yeah, I, I think the answer is right in front of us. I mean, we executed our game plan in the first period, and I, I thought we dominated the first. Uh, you know, we were rolling every line, and, and everybody was playing the same way, and uh, just forechecking hard, and and um, kind of stopping their speed before they could start it. So, uh, I think if we can just emulate that first period all night tomorrow, we'll be great. Matt, not that I want to say it was kind of similar to, to last week in the preseason game, but your team came back out down in the heading of the third period, and, and we saw the fight to tie things up. Um, I guess the question is, how do you avoid uh, things like that? in the next time around when you see him tomorrow? Um, I guess for me, the summary of the game, I, I really liked our start. Um, you know, we know Toronto is a high octane, high power offense, and I think we limited them, you know, single digit shots, maybe four or so in the first period. Um, it's a great place to begin the game. Um, in the second, we end up giving two goals out of the box that really changed some momentum in the game, uh, and then they get a power play goal, so that's what kind of puts us down. Uh, and then in the third period, uh, the will to fight back was great. Um, you know, the ability to finish wasn't there. The theme of the game is for me, we played hard enough to win. Um, it showed a lot of character, but simply we just gave up too many big chances. And so, um, you know, it's a great opportunity for us to take a look at those. And, um, you know, how do you eliminate that? It's You, you give up less big chances. Uh, in, in that second period, is where it kind of changed? Was it... was. Bounces going their way, uh, puck management. What was it that just kind of spun the game around where it seemed like they had the counter punch that was able to put you guys on your heels? I think it started with, you know, some pretty simple breakdowns from, from us, you know, where, where we're, we're losing that positioning on people. Um, that gave them some momentum. Uh, they, didn't, they didn't capitalize yet. And then from the... Uh, the two plays, I, I don't think I've ever seen two in a game, let alone a period, where the guy out of the box is involved in the goal so directly like that. Um, you know, it's their puck management decisions for sure. Uh, one of them goes off a shin pad and the other one goes off a skate into the neutral. Um, but it's, it's stuff that we're in total control of. And so we're in, we're in total control of the way that that game is going to flow. The group that you, part of the group that you, you brought in the offseason, Harkins, Meyer, they connect. Is it good to see those guys start? And find the back of the net early on in, in developing that chemistry as in game one as we just kick off the season. Yeah, for me, it's it's huge. Um, we'll, we'll take it from everywhere, uh, but you know that's part of their job. You know they're they're here to perform uh, and lead, and be the example that we need. Um, but yeah, let's we'll take it where everywhere we can get it.
24 hours to go, and, and you're right back at it against this team in, in one more time before heading back for the long flight to San Diego. What do you want to see adjusted and turned around in the game tomorrow with one last chance of these guys? The, the first challenge is mentally. It's like, you know, what is it, 21 hours until the next game. So it, it's how fast can you reset from something that's heartbreaking like that, uh, where you scratch and claw your way back and then end up on uh, end up empty handed. So uh, resetting mentally is the first priority. And then being able to dive into the video and, and go be able to teach exactly where we're giving up so much. Um, and, you know, the, it's it's not so much the quantity. It's just the quality, like these big chances that there should be they're easy fixes. Thank <laughs> you.